All right, I have a word for you, and the word is remember who you are. Just because you have been in that situation for so long, just because you have been afflicted, just because you have been persecuted, does not mean that is your resting place, does not mean that is your final destination. You have to believe that at the end of it, you will come out as fine as gold. Though you go through fire, that fire will not affect you. Now, for those that have read the story of, uh, in, the, in, in the book of Daniel, of, of, of these men, Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, now, these men, the, the king in that land, had made a decree that if if they make a sound, everyone should bow down to the statute that a king had made. But these men refused to bow down. At the sound of the trumpet, they refused to bow down. And, and, and when they were questioned, they said that even if our goal does not save us, we shall not bow down. Those that have read the story, you know that these men were, were tied up and were thrown in fire. They were thrown in a pit of fire. And the scripture says that they were not hurt. To the fact that even those that threw them, those that tied them up, were hurt. The men that threw them in the fire died. But these men were not hurt. Even their hair, nothing was destroyed. The scripture says that there was a fourth man in the fire who, who is the son of man, who was Jesus. He was there in the fire. You could be going through a fire. You could be going through a storm. But God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Remember who you are. A lot of, a lot of people have forgotten who they are. A lot of people have got, are, are lost in a crowd. The, the world has seemed to detect who they are. They, so, they easily get lost in social media, on Facebook. When a new train comes out, they, they easily get in, into that bandwagon to follow the trade. They lose their identity of who they are. They are easily swept by the trains. Remember who you are. Job said, Though he slay me, yet shall I trust in him. Now Job realized that his affliction was not his final destination. This man lost almost everything. He lost his family. He lost his wealth. But he still trusted in God. He did not give up. He believed that at the end of the affliction, at the end of the trials, he will be restored. Somebody is about to be restored to his or her rightful place. The enemy has played around with you. The enemy has tossed you around to and fro. But a time has come that you are going to rise. Remember, you are the head and not the tail. This is your season. It is a matter of remembering who you are. The story of a prodigal son teaches us a very important lesson. That this son woke up one day and requested for his inheritance. He requested for what belongs to him. And the scripture says that the father divided to him what belongs to him. And the son went on to a far country. He squandered his, 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 his possession, his wealth. His, he, what he had, he wasted it. And when there arose a famine, he was in a tight spot to an extent that he was in lack. And he resorted to work with swines, with pigs. Where he hoped that one day that he would eat from what the pigs ate. 
But the scripture says that he came to himself. When he came to his mind, he, he returned back home. He went back home. And the father was willing and waiting for him. When the father saw him, he hugged him. And he organized a party for him. And father comes from a Greek word, which means pater. Pater literally means the sustainer. God is your father. He's your sustainer. He's your source. Because away from your father, away from him, you will lack. You will get lost in the crowd. Just as the prodigal son who decided to leave his father and he was lost. He was lost without him. A lot of people are lost without the father. They think they can survive on their own. But, but you need to remember who you are. Your identity in Christ. You are his. Remember when you receive him, you become like him. You are Christ-like. You become his son. Remember who you are. Do not let the world to define who you are. Because a lot of people have allowed the world to tell them who they are. They are people who have lived with themselves for 30 years, 50 years, 20 years. And then somebody comes all of a sudden, somebody who has known you for two weeks, for a year. And then that person begins to tell you who you are. And you accept the fact do not accept somebody to tell you who you are. What, what does God say about you? If the world says something wrong about you, what does God say about you? You are highly favored. You are anointed. You are his. Remember who you are. No matter what you are going through, no matter the magnitude, of your problem, of your condition, no matter how big it is, speak to your storm, speak to your condition, let it know how big your God is. Remember, faith that is small as a mustard seed can move mountains. It is time to use that faith. Scripture says that they that believe, that they that believe in his name, they will cast out devils. They will heal the sick. They will speak in different tongues. They will perform miracles. If you believe, you can move that mountain. You will move that mountain. I hope this word has been a blessing to you. I hope it has encouraged you. And go ahead and share this video with somebody else with people who, are, who feel down, because you never know. The person whom you think is okay, the person whom you think is doing well, could be doing bad. The person whom you see smiling could be going through a lot of stuff, could be going through a terrible condition. And the one that you have shared to him could help them, could give them an encouragement. I hope to see you next time. Be blessed.